How do you know that a rat can remember anything? I mean, they can't tell you about it. Well, that's a great question. And I mean, there are two reasons for studying rats. Uh, one is they don't talk too much like some of us up here. <laughs> and the second thing is it gives us access to the detailed activity within the brain. And that is we can see what's actually going on in the brain when rats are forming memories. How do you do that? And the way we do that is to take very tiny electrodes, place them inside of the brain, put them next to individual brain cells, and then listen to the activity. So an electrode is a very thin wire? Tiny, tiny wire. And so you see, oh, yes, there's... Now, there's that's what, not an electrode. That Mexican hat on his head. Yeah, that thing, it look, that contraption looks very scary. That's not going into the brain. That is actually sitting on top of the animal's head, and what's going into the brain are wires that are smaller than single human hairs. And so we put a lot of these tiny wires in to the brain. Animal doesn't feel anything. No, is that because the, the, the brain doesn't feel anything? The brain doesn't feel anything. And so the animal doesn't know that we're listening in to his brain. And so you can see he goes about his business, sniffing, crawling, eating. But unbeknownst to him, we're listening in.